you wanted the best, you've got the best podcast. The hottest, hottest. podcast in the world. In the world. The Chris Voss Show, the preeminent podcast with guests so smart you may experience serious brain bleed. The CEOs, authors, thought leaders, visionaries, and motivators. Get ready, get ready. Strap yourself in. Keep your hands, arms, and legs inside the vehicle at all times. Because you're about to go on a monster education roller coaster with your brain. Now, here's your host, Chris Voss. Hi, folks. It's Foz here from the com. There you go. Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. When the Iron Lady sings and that makes it official. So welcome to the big show. As always, the Chris Voss Show family is the family that loves you but doesn't judge you, at least not as harsh as your mother-in-law because, uh, you know, she never liked you anyway. She wanted that other guy. <laughs> as always, guys, we've been bringing you, uh, what is it, three to four shows a day, four to five shows, or 15 to 20 shows a weekday. I, I can't even get us right. Three to four shows a weekday, 15 to 20 shows a week. There you go. I'm just, I'm at the, I'm at the point where I, I just, I can't do math anymore. I think I'm too old for math. Is there a point where you just get too old for math and you can just be like, I don't have to do math anymore. It's kind of like retirement. You just be like, I don't have to work anymore. You just be like, yeah, I'm old enough. I don't do math anymore. I'm just, I've acquired too much knowledge. There's no reason for me to bother with math anymore. I don't know. There's a lot of Gen Zers saying that right now at 20. Anyway, guys, refer the show to your family, friends, and relatives. Go to goodreads.com for slash Chris Voss, LinkedIn.com for slash Chris Voss, YouTube.com for slash Chris Voss. Subscribe to the big 7,000, 7,000 plus, I think it's almost 8,000 LinkedIn group newsletter and 130,000 people over on LinkedIn as well. We have an amazing gentleman on the show today. We're going to be talking to him about business. You've heard it. Business. He is dubbed the legendary consultant. David Preston is going to be joining us on the show today to talk about his experience, his insights with over 30 years building multi-million dollar consulting firm from scratch and helping companies be more successful in everything they do. So if you don't learn something from this show, well then you need to go listen to it again, damn it. Anyway, he is dubbed the legendary consultant. David Preston, and he returns over millions of results from happy clients, companies, and marketers that he's helped. He shared the stage with over 200 of the top marketers available at one time or another, and has consistently been the top producer on the speaking circuit. He authored the first book teaching internet marketers how to work with local business owners the right way, Offline Goldmine 2006, and he's been helping people start a local consulting business and helping companies scale for over 30 years. Welcome to the show, David. How are you? I'm doing man, and thanks for that intro. I mean, that's actually me. I guess that's me. There you go. I've been around I, for a while. I have a whole bunch of people that have uh, said that I, they want me to follow them around and do their intros wherever they go. <laughs> now, did I get the name of that book right? Offline Goldmine 2006? Yeah, I authored that in 2006, and it was basically showing internet marketers, you know, how to start working with local business owners. Mm -hmm. Back in you the know, early days. Them. Yep, way back. And way that back was the first day. one that I know of. There we go. Back. Got you back. Yeah, drop me for a minute. You were, That's uh, weird. You were saying the uh, first one you know of. Yep, I was the first one, I believe, that ever authored a book mm -hmm. teaching internet marketers how to work with local business owners and it just went crazy there you go you know, it's, it was uh, probably the early days of the internet then fairly early it was actually very few websites so it was an open market for small business owners that really really needed the help mm -hmm. you know because most of them didn't have a web presence they didn't know anything about the internet you know and it was as one of them told me it's, it's kind of a funky animal I just stay away from <laughs> it's a funky animal that I stay away from I think, I think people are still doing that. It was kind of interesting to me with COVID in 2020, how many right. restaurants and businesses that, you know, they were going to need to learn to survive on the internet as opposed to, Correct. you know, just brick and mortar. Uh, it was amazing how many restaurants didn't have a valid sort of website. They didn't have any sort of way to run orders through that. You know, they, they really didn't see it coming, which no one did. I can't blame them. Right. But I, I was just kind of really surprised, like, you're not on the internet yet, or like you don't have like a, you know, a decent presence on the internet. Like, what's going on with you, man? Yeah, it really didn't affect our clients much at all. 
as a matter of fact. But the reason was because one of the first things we do for our clients is teach them how to build a list of buyers only. Oh. You know, so very simple, turn their foot traffic, you know, into buyers. Mm -hmm. And then from there, all they had to do was send out a coupon, you know, once a week on a weekly sale or whatever to the list. And then they would go to the store and open it for one day and fulfill the orders and then go back home. There you go. People need that today. So there you go. Give us a 30,000 overview of what you do at your website at davidprestonconsulting.com and how you help clients. Yeah, what we do basically is we try to get them, if they're plateaued, we have a lot of those clients that are entrepreneurs that are just kind of plateaued in their own deal, a media, media agency or an agency owner, and they, they've hit five figures, but they just can't seem to break through to six figures a month. And they can't figure it out. So we help them scale, you know, very quickly to get to that. And then uh, we have several different venues we work with. We also work with beginning internet marketers in a different setting and help them get started in their own home based business, you know, helping business owners. And I always tell everybody, go where the money's at and the business owners already have you in their budget. You just got to put yourself in there. Definitely get in there and get the budget <laughs> that's it become part of that budget and your worries are over <laughs> you know for years my employees had told me we owned a lot of companies and they would tell me you need to start a consulting business and i'm like when mm. I, when am i ever get the time for this like, have you seen what, what's going on here at the office and they're like yeah you can help right. other people do what you do and i'm like i don't have time to help myself at this point Yep. And, uh, you know, we, we had a lot going on in three core companies. But then 2008 come along and, and decide, and, and, uh, you know, then I had to become a consultant because uh, it wiped everything off the map. Tell us, you know, how you help people discover consulting and, and maybe, maybe, uh, maybe lead us uh, up to it with, uh, with a road of your journey in life, your hero's journey and how you got into consulting. Yeah. Mine was kind of a weird journey. Uh but I think all entrepreneurs are kind of that way to a degree. Yeah. And mine was super weird. Well, just because it's me. That's just, <laughs> that's just how it is. But I worked for a billion dollar corporation for many years and uh, was in charge of three states and 23 stores at that time, retail. And they went out of business in two months. Mm -hmm. Belly up. Didn't tell any of us. Wow. So I went from six figures a year, you know, down to zero. And when you have six figure bills, you know, unemployment really doesn't cut it. <laughs> so, yeah. sure. so what I did was I got this crazy idea. I said, well, I understand marketing and I know how to market. I mean, that was a big part of my job. Mm -hmm. So I went down to the local small business resource center and told them I'd be willing to teach a workshop, a half day workshop to small business owners locally just to help them and show them, you know, how to market their business effectively. And we only had nine people that showed up for that. And I taught a half-day workshop. I did an open Q&A, and that was the most important part was just answering their questions, you know. And it just blew me away how much they do not know about anything to do with marketing. It's the demand. And, you know, it was like, I was in college level and they're in preschool, you know, it was really that big of a difference. Mm -hmm. So when we got finished, I wasn't allowed to pitch anything. I wasn't allowed to sell anything because that's a government organization. They can't endorse anybody. And I was like, gotcha. So what I did was I, this was my pitch and nobody ever figured this out. <laughs> so I said, if you get stuck, I got a box of cards on the table back there. Give me a call, and I can walk you through it over the phone. This is not rocket science, guys. You can do this. And my phone rang off the hook. I mean, and they would call me, and the two most important words I tried to teach my students from that point forward was the two magic words is how much. You know, the business owners are how much for you to do it for me. I'm like... You know, you, you can get somebody else to do it, you know, that's cheaper than me. I don't want somebody else. I want you. Well, you <laughs> so you basically spend the entire time in front of the audience just really giving them some great, valuable information that really is aimed at helping them. Mm -hmm. And then I don't give them any handouts or any flyers. I just give them a notepad and a pencil. So they mm -hmm. can write all they want, 
And when they get back to their office, they can look at the stuff and they'll go, what the heck was I thinking there? I don't even know what that means. You know, <laughs> then they wind up calling you. And uh, that's how I took off. And then pretty soon I had somebody call me from a different place. And then uh, the next day, a different place. And then pretty soon I was speaking at small business development centers that are in every college campus all over the nation. I didn't even know that. Oh, wow. And uh, one of the biggest Internet marketers out there right now hooked up with me because he was sitting at home and he saw a, a advertisement from the government, a, a PSA, telling them about me, that I was going to be teaching on a college campus, you know, a small business workshop, and it's a community service from my consulting firm. Mm -hmm. And he, he, his wife was like, what's wrong with you? And he goes, this guy's got the government advertising for him. He said, I got to meet this guy. <laughs> How is he doing that? You know, and that, then I had PSAs everywhere, public service announcements. It was on the radio. It was on the TV. It just blew up. Wow. And it all came from the main concept is helping people. That's the main concept. There you go. The main concept of helping people. You know, one of the things I see on your LinkedIn is you're, is you're talking about helping people establish their own consulting service where they can, yeah. they can do it. And they can start your own home based consulting firm for less than $40. That sounds yeah. really, that sounds really good. Do I have to know anything about anything to start consulting no. or? Actually, you, you know, you, if you know about marketing, I tell people this all the time, mm -hmm. and I know it's kind of laughable in a way. Do I have to know anything? No. Well, you, if you know anything at all about internet marketing, I mean anything, mm -hmm. you're light years ahead of the local business community. Really? And the reason is those guys are really good at selling bowling balls or tennis shoes or whatever it is they're after. But as far as marketing or the internet goes, they don't understand anything. Wow. So you can pick this up fairly quick and learning from you and yes. working with you and then doing what you call. There, there's something you have that looks like, uh, this is like a ebook e that you have or something that people can take advantage of. Yeah. If they go to davidpreston.consulting.com, there's a little slider, you know, that mm -hmm. they can download a checklist that will help you, even if you're a mid-level agency, learn, you know, how to get yourself out there in a big, big way. And it starts with a beginner, you know, it'll give you a checklist for a beginner, things you need to do, even from filing, you know, a bank account and a business account and how you can do it online with the IRS for 10 bucks, you know, and do a DBA and get started from there. Some valuable information. A lot of people don't know that. You can actually file a DBA online and it's free. And if you want to pay them 10 bucks, then you can get a printable version of it instantly. Take wow. it to your bank, open a checking account, and you're a business. You're in business doing the stuff. So that's pretty wild. And you, you guys offer a 30 minute kickstart call that uh, you could do one on one with you guys. Uh, Correct. To, to figure out the best way to map this out and everything else. This is awesome. Yeah. So once, once they buy that, it's only, I think, 37 bucks. Mm -hmm. So if they buy that course, and it's a miniature course, but it includes a one hour and 21 minute Q&A between me and the largest marketing forum on the internet. So everybody that had a question could send it in, and it took me almost an hour and a half to answer all of the questions about how to start a local agency successfully. That's pretty amazing. So they get that audio, and then after that they get the checklist. And then on top of that, they get a one-on-one -on -one call with me after they listen to the audio. If they have some questions, I tell them, take some copious notes, write down your questions, you know, and I'll give you some direction because I just about guarantee you I've seen and heard it all. <laughs> <laughs> what are, what, how do you market with no list? If, you, if you're starting a new company, you don't have really any lists and stuff, how do you usually get off marketing? One of the best ways is social media now. Um, they didn't have that, of course, whenever I first started way back in the day. But fortunately now, they've got social media. LinkedIn is a great place to start. Facebook, of course. And you can look for small business groups. You know, and even on Quora, or I've picked up a bunch of clients also on Reddit. 
And one of the things you can do is just don't go in there selling anything. You know, just the key is to do just what, exactly what I did in the beginning, just teach. Mm -hmm. You know, so I went in there and somebody would ask something, a small business owner, and I would try to help them, you know, as much as I could. And with the advent of AI, um, you could be an expert almost immediately. <laughs> Oh, if no, you've got a, no, yeah, and, you, just have, yeah, you got another you browser open, want, yeah, yeah, just jump on Chat GPT or AIRPM or Bing.ai and ask it the question from the forum, you know, and then come back in there and tell them, you know, how brainy you are. I'm going to ask you like, I got to teach. I got to hook up with physics. this guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I'll just walk around talking about quantum physics, and people will be like, "That guy's really smart." I'm like, "Chat GPT, how smart am I?" That's so there you true. Go. Yeah, it's, it's you know, so a lot of advantages now, you know, that they did not have whenever mm -hmm. I first started. And what I always teach everybody in the beginning is start an email list, you know, even for business owners. And one of the reasons for that, it's very easy. A business owner is like, I don't know how to do that. It's very simple. So I opened an AWeber account, and then you can have unlimited autoresponders in there. Mm -hmm. And I would just name it whatever the business name is. Mm. You know, that's their autoresponder. Yeah. And then this is a trick. And if you're writing stuff down, write this down. <laughs> this is a trick is how to convert all their foot traffic into a buyer's list. Very simple oh. process. And nobody just thinks of it. Mm -hmm. Is you call the credit card company, the merchant services provider, the number's right on the side of the terminal. Mm -hmm. and tell them you want to change the header on the machine. And then you do the same thing with the cash register company, customer service numbers right on the side. And they will walk you through it over the phone how to change the header. And you just want to put it on there for preferred customer discounts and coupons. Go to, and you put their lead capture page on there, .com, and sign up today. It's free. And that's it. And that's that works tremendously because the only people that see that are the people that have a receipt. <laughs> ah, there you go. You know, it, it, that was another thing that was really interesting to me where, you know, these, these companies didn't have, hadn't built a list. They didn't have an email list that they put online. You know, the restaurants that got caught from COVID and the other companies that got caught in COVID, they're like, holy crap, we need to be somewhere online because people aren't coming to the store. And yep. they had not built a list. They didn't have an email thing. And yep. boy, that was the wrong time to start trying to build a list because no one was coming in to sign up for a list. And uh, yeah, there's, there's another method that we teach the students that go through coaching with us that mm -hmm. they can show the business owners how to access a list of every buyer they've ever had and put mm -hmm. them onto an email list instantly. Mm -hmm. So if they say, I don't have an email list, you're like, yeah, you do. <laughs> you just don't know where it's at, but you've got a list. Trust me. There you go. So some of the things that people do when they run into a business and trying to start a business is they got to find you know, the best business coach, and you do that some of that as well. What's what's the best way to know uh, how to find a good coach and and how well you can work together with one, and if they're going to guide you success? That's a great question, um, and I get that a lot. There's, I always tell everybody, everybody has an inner being or a gut instinct. Mm -hmm. And every time I've ever ignored that, I paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you're talking to a coach or a potential coach and you get a gut instinct about them, don't ignore it. You mm -hmm. know, good or bad, don't ignore it. Because that's a preview of the relationship. Mm -hmm. Guaranteed. I tell everybody that to begin with. But another thing is the coaching programs are not something, and this is what I find, and this is what I don't like, is a lot of the coaching programs are like cookie cutter type things where they have all these great ideas like, I'm God, you can be, and you can't be because, well, you're not them. <laughs> it has to be customized for each individual person. Mm -hmm. So that's probably the key. You know, it's got to be all about you and instead of all about the person. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that makes all the difference in the world in, in making sure that if something kind of fits to you, you have a good vibe, 
you know, the, the people, you know, check and see if they know what they're doing. I, I met too many coaches running, living out of their cars. Uh, find yeah. out later about, I'm like, I thought you were like a super successful person. I was like, no, I'm living in my car. So make sure you background check them and see if they really know what they're doing. We've got a typhoon over here, so that could be part oh, of that. It could be. could be. You're over there in the Philippines, correct? Yeah. There you go. Well, you got to watch You know, but you're absolutely too. correct about I've I've actually talked to, and I've shared the stage, of course, like I said, with a lot of big names. Mm -hmm. And there's some of the big names that are on the stage that just amaze me on why they're there. <laughs> sometimes sometimes just energy, enthusiasm, and hype. Sure. sells itself. But, you know, sometimes you walk away from those things going, what the hell really did I get out of that? Right. So you know, and that was like, you know, I know one guy that we were at a, a conference one time in Orlando, and I told the speaker, I told the, the producer of the show, I said, you need to get this guy on the stage. Mm -hmm. And I said, because he's the real deal, and he's really quietly under the radar, you know, making six figures a month, mid six figures a month. Mm -hmm. And I said, and he's just basically doing small workshops with business owners locally and he's just killing it ah the uh, so let me ask you this do what do you what do you see the future of with ai and consulting and what you're teaching your students to take and do in starting their own businesses it sounds like ai can be quite helpful to them ai is absolutely awesome you know if you use it correctly and you got to fact check ai because yeah. it's wrong you know about several things yeah. That's the best advice. It'll get better, you know, as time goes on. But that's part of our coaching program, too, is we introduce them to AI very easily. And we, we can get them involved in the beta programs for AI that we're in mm -hmm. and uh, help them with that. AI RPM is a great one. Chat GPT, of course, has been out there. But if you're in Chat GPT, as an example, they've got like 2,300 prompts in there you know, for different things. Yeah. If you to the beta program of AI RPM, they've got 26,000 prompts in there. Wow. Plus, they also have a, a system in there that you can click on called Get Human. Mm -hmm. So if you write something or have ChatGPT write it for you, you can go into AI RPM and click on the Get Human link, and it will make it emotional or make it like a human being wrote it. Oh, wow. It's AIPRM.com. Yep, A-I-R-P, yeah, AIPRM.com, correct. There you go. Wow, this is pretty interesting, man. It's got a whole different prompts that you can take and use, community prompts. You know, that's yeah. the whole, that's the whole interesting thing about, uh, that's the whole interesting thing about uh, ChatGPT is how you approach it, how you tell it to behave. Correct. You know, the prompts you give are, are like pretty much everything. And, yeah, they're basically engineering prompts. They call it prompt engineering for a reason, mm -hmm. you know, and that, that's true. There you go. How, how but what a lot of people that? don't realize is that you can have up to 4,000 characters in one prompt. Mm -hmm. So you can be really specific about exactly what you want in great detail, mm -hmm. and it will go to work for you. Wow. You know, just look at it, you know, like a butler, and you're explaining to it exactly what you want it to do and leave no stone unturned, and it'll go do it. Mm -hmm. And so you can, you can, uh, you can take in, if you need help, you know, your client has an answer that maybe you don't understand, the client needs help with something that maybe you don't have access to, you can use AI to ask the question and, and find out yep. what the answer is. Yeah, correct. Especially if it's in an industry that's kind of a an odd industry. Mm -hmm. We had a client that was in freight, you know, for a while, and that and believe it or not, that's a really strange industry, you know, that they have different tariffs and different, you know, billing, way billing, and that kind of stuff. And it's just a totally different world. Yeah. The you know, uh, it can help you with that type of thing. Mm -hmm. So you teach how to implement. The method to scale a company, how to start building lists of subscribers, how to start building things of businesses. What about people who feel that they fail with so many products or systems and, you know, they, 
they feel like they never be good good at being consultant. Yeah, that's a that's also a great question. There's a well, you're really good at those great questions, there, man. That was. <laughs> that's right. It's uh, it's we call it a, a tried and failed community. Mm -hmm. And this is going to probably be music to your ears if you're in that community right now. Is it's not really your fault. I got in a lot of trouble many years ago, if you could call it trouble, not really trouble, but I just got a lot of backlash, so let's put it that way, for calling out what I called theory peddlers ah. at the time. And what a theory peddler is, is somebody who thinks of something or they see something online and they're like, oh, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. And then they write a product about that idea, but they have no true knowledge of how that actually works. Because they've saw, never done it. I saw a lot of that <laughs> on social media and Twitter in the first, in the first, when Twitter first came out. And I've seen that through all the different Oh, sure. Of the, the new biggest things. In fact, there's people writing books and writing things on how to use AI, and you're just like, it just got here. Right. And uh, they're, you know, they claim to be AI masters, and I'm like, I'm not sure anybody's smart enough to master AI yet, but I don't know. No. You, you go, girl. Yeah, but that's, uh, you know, theory peddlers will break you, man. Mm -hmm. And it's very difficult, you know, to figure them out because a theory peddler makes everything sound so great, you know, and it's a magic button, mm -hmm. and that should be your first flag right there. You know, there's not really a magic button. You know, if yeah. there was, everybody would have it. That's true. We'd all be billionaires. You know, but... Yes. So they, you know, they'll create this product that they think is awesome. And then, and this is how their entire system works. It's really horrible, but they'll sell it and sell it and sell it. People buy it, buy it, buy it because of all the great sales page and the hype and everything else that goes along with it. And then at the end of it, there's only really about 10% of the people that's actually going to do it. And out of those 10%, they'll gladly refund the 10% of those people that says, hey, this doesn't work. Okay, sorry. You know, so they'll refund it. Sorry, it did not work for you, you know. But they'll, they're still making 90% profit on everybody else who buys it and never does anything with it. Yeah, that's true. There's some, there's some people <laughs> that never use the services, really. Yeah, correct. You know, and then they send them another email that says, oh, the reason if it's not working for you, you know, is because you're missing, hey, this one extra part, you know, that costs this much or, you know, whatever. They're really, really good at that bright, shiny object stuff. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, it's, yeah. It's kind of interesting how they play their game. Now, do you help consultants? You know, one of the big pe things people have is is how to price their services and earn good commissions. Yep. Do you help people figure that out? Because a lot of people, you know, they underprice themselves or sometimes, I suppose, overprice themselves. How do you help people find that right balance? Yeah, that's a great question. A lot of ways of what we do it, too, is online research. And sometimes we put it out to the group, let the group look at it, and they'll say, hey, I think that's too much, or yeah, I would pay that, you know, mm -hmm. or I don't think it's enough. And that's pretty good feedback for the most part, you know, but... Another another way is to do polls online and social media mm -hmm. and find out from there and just do some research online about similar products or products in that area of expertise. Mm -hmm. And then the price can tell you like what a good prices are charged for consulting. Uh, they abs they absolutely can. GPT Bing.ai was a great one for that. Really? Um, wow. <laughs> you can go on there and just type in you know, what are the current product prices for? And wow. you put a description of it, and it'll go find them in 30, 40 seconds, you know, and start listing them on the page. And you're like, oh, wow. So we're way off on that. <laughs> we should be charging a lot more. No kidding. I, I need to start uh, pulling the unit there for that. I never even thought about that. That's funny as hell to, to, to consider. Yeah. You know, I, I've you we use uh, ChatGPT in a number of AI products, but uh, no, we only really need to use them more. So there's that. I'll tell you one of the funny stories you're talking about. That's really funny about AI. Uh -huh. Is I had one guy ask me online, and it was on 
social media and he said so what do you think is the best way to learn AI you know you, you know a lot about it you know because I've seen your posts what's the best way to learn it what's the best course mm -hmm. that was the question what's the best course to learn AI and I said go to this link and I gave him the link to sign up for AI RPM I said it is an extension of chat GPT mm -hmm. so get chat GPT and then add AI RPM as an extension and then they'll work together and I said and here's what you do you go into the the text box in there in chat GPT mm -hmm. and tell it to give you a course on using artificial intelligence there you go <laughs> and guess it's the best teacher in history <laughs> it's chat GPT it's kind of like one and, of my and it's free it's, yeah, there you go. It, it'll teach you how to just use itself. My, Correct. It's like when my mom will call me about stuff on how to do something. I'm like, Mom, you know, I love you, but you, you can just put this into Google and search it. She's right. like, oh, really? I'm like, yeah, Mom. Just, right. just anything you want ever could want to know, you just ask Google. And, and I've given her the devices where you know she can uh, do the Google thing. I don't want to trigger it. So there you go. Yeah, Google knows. So what have we talked about uh, that we may have missed that uh, you do in, in helping people get their consulting businesses started from scratch and uh, getting things going for themselves? Yeah, one of the great things is, uh, I mean, everybody shops at stores all the time. You know, if you're in your local area, talk to some of the business owners when you go in there. Mm -hmm. I mean, just talk to them as a person, you know, and tell them, you know, I run a local business marketing agency or a local consulting firm and here was the guarantee to me was I would just tell them I, I ask them you know do you have a, a list of buying customers already and if they go no then you say you know I can help you build that list and I'll guarantee double your ROI on it yeah. I'll, I'll work for you for free until I do. It's important to build the list, man. Everything's about lists nowadays, mailing lists and everything else. It is. There you go. Give us your final thoughts as we go out. Pitch people on how they can onboard with you, how they can do business with you, and, or reach out and talk to you. Tell us how that all can take place. Yeah, there's, of course, you can go to davidprestonconsulting.com, and there are some links in there on the headers, you know, where you can become an affiliate or there's the coaching program is in there, one up to wealth, you know, coaching program is in there. And that's an elite coaching program. We offer financing for that, by the way. Mm -hmm. That is really, really good. So for less than 300 bucks a month, you could start your own agency and get rolling wow. and work with us one on one. There you, you know, go. Just really start hammering. And uh, our goal is to get you to five figures as quickly as possible per month. And it's pretty easy to do if you've been there before and know what you're doing. You yeah. know, but other than that, too. They can also go to LinkedIn, you know, and just look up the legendary consultant. And I've got a pretty extensive profile there. And I get a lot of messages every day in there. I have a VA that goes through all of that stuff, but it's my wife. So if it's, <laughs> if it's um, she's Filipina and she's awesome, awesome customer support manager. And uh, she personally takes care of my stuff. So if you send me an email, David at davidprestonconsulting.com, you know, I will personally get that, you know, mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm not, I don't hide from anybody. I don't put barriers between me and anybody else. And I will literally try to help you, you know, as much as I can. Of course, that's limited to a point where, I, you know, if you're starting to eat up a lot of my time, I'm going to say, hey, <laughs> you, know, you, you need to go sign up as a coaching client because you're yeah. killing me here. Yeah, yeah. There's some people that will do that. So give us the .com so people can find you on the interwebs. DavidPrestonConsulting.com. Mm -hmm. And if you just go to Google and punch in David Preston, you're going to see that's the whole first page of Google is all of my sites. Nice. Is, um, you know, I think there's, I don't know, it's 1.4 million results or something like that. If you look up mm -hmm. legendary consultant David Preston, uh, I'm out there, and I've been out there for a long time. I had no idea that somebody pointed that out to me at a show, and I was like, really? And they were like, yeah. So I use that a lot now.
but you can also, uh, you know, get a course to start for less than 40 bucks that mm-hmm. gives you everything you need. You know, the hour and a half audio of Q&A with all mm-hmm. beginners that have no clue what they're doing. And I went really in depth with that. And then uh, that's an all-inclusive course. Plus, you get a kickstart call with me to answer any further questions and help you get rolling. And then uh, the coaching program is running full blast right now. And that's really helping a ton of people. You know, so we got different modules in there. You get certificates of completion. And I have three other coaches. You know, one of them is a forensic CPA. You know, so they teach you about P&Ls. And this is the real business world. Profit you know, so, losses, yeah. Yeah. So when you get in there and start looking at a business owner, if they ask you a question, you can say, I'll take care of that. You know, and you can come back to the team and they'll say, well, let's look at their P&L. You mm-hmm. know, just as an example. So they know that you know what you're doing because Mm -hmm. you've got a team of experts. I think between us, we've got 74 years of consulting experience. Oh, wow. And then imagine you can help people that want to speak, too, because a lot of speaking and consulting, you mix it all together, really. Yeah, and there's actually something that you can do if you want to get on podcasts, you want to do other things. I mean, there's a service that is on there that I'm subscribed to. It's about 60 bucks a month. And that's also on our site, DavidPrestonConsulting.com. Awesome, awesome. And, man, it works really well. But on the flip side of that, you can actually go on Zoom mm-hmm. and click on Zoom and start a new meeting with just mm-hmm. you and practice in front of the camera until, you know, you get comfortable with it and then start going after shows. You can record it. You can do other stuff and send it out. It's a great mm-hmm. tool, and it's free. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of resources that are out there that you've got listed. Give us the .com one more time, David, as we go out. Yeah, DavidPrestonConsulting.com. There you go. You can start your own consultancy business finally, folks. There Help as many local business owners as you can. And like I said, they've already got you in the budget. So you don't have to worry about trying to bill people or invoice them or worry about getting paid. These guys are already spending it on advertising. And they'll gladly spend it on you if you can show them a good ROI. Yeah, if you can double their ROI. And, and a lot of times, usually the money they're spending on a budget, it's not yep. working for them as well as they, they think it is and they need to. And if someone can come in there and tweak it, then there you go. Uh, so thank you yep. very much, David, for coming on the show. It's been really yeah, insightful. It. And hopefully we've inspired a whole lot of people to work with you to start their own consulting business. I had to do mine. I was forced to do mine by the there 2008. There you go great recession but uh, i i've enjoyed it ever since because technically it beats having hundreds of employees so there you go <laughs> correct and i can All tell right. you one thing is the biggest key to success is outsource you mm-hmm. got to let go of that control yeah if you're gonna scale you've got to let go of the control you know mm-hmm. I, I agree nobody can do it as good as you can but there are people that are out there that can do it good enough mm-hmm you know, scaling so you is so important. Like, um, you know, there hire you some VAs, hire some qualified VAs, and start scaling. That's the only way you're going to scale. There you go. Well, thank you very much for Dave for coming on. Thanks for honest for tuning in. Go to goodreads.com, Chess Chris Voss, LinkedIn.com, Chess Chris Voss. Chris Voss one on the tickety talkity. Uh, there's Chris Voss, Facebook.com, and all that good stuff. Thanks for tuning in. Be good to each other. Stay safe, and we'll see you guys next time.